It's being called back to school sticker shock for families of kids with dangerous allergies. Across the U.S., a package of two EpiPens now costs $600, a 400% price hike since 2009. I'm struggling to just provide basic life-saving medicine for my child. Invented decades ago, the EpiPen has become a critical drug for people who suffer from life-threatening allergic reactions. The brand was acquired by Myelin Pharmaceuticals in 2007. Back then, the EpiPens cost about $100. But over the last decade, the price has continued to climb in the U.S., even though the allergy medicine inside is estimated to be worth about a dollar. In the last week, there have been three separate congressional demands for an explanation. To do that to a parent, to tell them, well, yeah, that cost $100 five years ago, but now it costs $600, that just can't happen in this country. Today, the American Medical Association warned that the price could restrict access. With lives on the line, we urge the manufacturer to do all it can to rein in these exorbitant costs. And this afternoon, Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton released a statement calling the price hike outrageous. It's the latest in a series of controversial drug price hikes in the U.S., a saga that peaked last fall when Martin Shkreli increased the price of one of the world's most essential drugs by 5,000 percent and then bragged about it. Important medicine should be expensive. Even though he has no connection to the company, today Shkreli defended the cost of the EpiPen. Well, that's up to insurance to pay for them. Like I said, it's $300 a pen. $300. My iPhone is $700. Mylan Pharmaceuticals has been quoted as saying the price reflects the value of the product. In the meantime, some Americans are looking for EpiPens in Canada, where the price has not changed in five years. How can you explain that this very same item made by an American company is hundreds of dollars cheaper in Canada? Canada's drug prices are regulated by the Patented Medicine Prices Review Board. And although they're made by the same company, EpiPens are distributed in Canada by a different company. They've hovered around $100 for the last four years, and the company says there are no plans to increase the price in Canada. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.